Hello everyone, in this video I just want to go through really quick about uh, when to use Flexbox and when to use Grid and what is the actual difference between these. So the Flexbox actually grows in one dimension, so only on the x-axis, while CSS Grid is sort of like a table, right? So you can have the y and the x-axis. Um, this is how it is very commonly described. Um, I wouldn't actually like literally agree with this because you can use Flexbox in order to style something like this, but um, yeah, I, this is usually how it is described and usually this is how you want to use these things. Okay, so if you, for example, style something on one line, you probably want to use Flexbox. Um, the general rule that I pretty much follow is that when I want to style something smaller on my website, I use Flexbox, so for example, like a navigation bar, right? The, the small navigation with, with the links in the header. Uh, I usually use Flexbox for this. Uh, some sort of, um, if I have like articles, right? So some sort of details in the articles, like um, let's say I have a blog post, I have the author image, I have a category, I have a, a date and a title. I probably use Flexbox for these. Um, but for the larger elements on my website, uh, let's say like sections and articles, I would probably use a CSS grid. So um, for example, if I have a section like some sort of category uh, on my website, um, I would use CSS grid for this, right? So for the section articles, um, maybe even for footer, uh, even though uh, let's say just the the whole footer might be might be a sort of a gray area it can be uh, you can use flexbox you can use both both of these uh, but i would use like generally rule of thumb um, when you are designing something that's larger on your website you probably want to go with css grid uh, when you are designing something that's smaller right something like a navigation something like a detailed part of your of, of your website you probably want to go with flexbox um, so this is basically what I want you to take away from this video. This is just um, when you want to use Flexbox, when you want to use CSS Grid. And that's pretty much it.